Hey guys, welcome to the channel The X Wing. My name is James, and today we are doing a month for review August 2023. And this is another pre recorded uh, video I will be doing for the month of review. I actually got a lot to get through, and uh, hopefully, we'll keep it uh, under 25 minutes long. So uh, let's uh, get to, to it and uh, let's roll the camera. Okay, guys, and uh, we're going to be kickstarting uh, my uh, monthly review in the regards of the videos. Now, I've done um, a lot of videos in the regards of drones and stations. So the stations ones I'll get to, uh, but the first one was uh, Dan Long Showgrounds drone footage I did uh, earlier uh, this month. Uh, it came out, and um, yeah, it's a pretty good uh, video. Um, I've done it a few times with the Mini One and the Mini Two, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Pretty good. Um, hoping maybe November. Not sure yet. I may be able to get the um, a showgrounds with the show going on. Um, that's usually early November. So we'll see how that pans out. I don't know yet. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good video. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Now um, I've got a lot of videos I've done over uh, the month with uh, it's a new playlist. Uh, it's called the uh, Suburban uh, Stations and Trains. And um, so far I've done uh, nine episodes. Now this is going to be an ongoing series actually guys. Um, this is going to be at uh, different uh, points, at uh, different train lines. Uh, they may be not in order uh, at times, but uh, other times they will be. And also, too, guys, I, I probably will be missing out on certain um, stations because, uh, one, I can't get access to it because I don't have a ticket or my key card for Melbourne people who are watching this. And, um, and it's hard to get into the station. So there's going to be a few stations I will be missing out on. Uh, but the majority of the stations I will get, um, which I can get access to. So, um, so far, um, as I said, nine uh, episodes I've done so far. So I'll put this all into a one bundle here. Um, the, the first episode was Yarraman Station. Uh, second episode, Limbrook Station. Uh, the third episode I'll, I'll talk about in a little bit more detail. That's at uh, New Cam Road Pedestrian Crossing. Now, I did a lot of filming there, actually, guys, but I'll get, get to that. And um, let's see, what else? Um, Cranbourne Station, Hallam Station, uh, Narry Warren Station, and um, Beaconsfield Station. Now, there's a station on the Pakenham line that I didn't get, which was Berwick. Now... Uh, Berwick was a little bit harder to get to uh, because um, they had uh, things set up on the station, so it was a bit hard to get. So there, that's one of the stations. I may go back and do that. I don't know. I'll see what happens. But um, the majority of the stations um, were pretty good. Uh, now, um, the one I want to talk about a, a, a little bit more frequently is um, episode three, a Ted Springvale, and that's another station I will not be able to get to is Springvale Station, and um, I think Clayton Station is another station I can't get to either. So there's a few I'll miss out there. But the pedestrian crossing episode three, New uh, New Cam Road, I think pedestrian uh, bridge. Yeah, that's an ideal location to do filming there. I really enjoyed doing it. I, I spent a whole day there, and it was quite good. I really enjoyed it. And um, it's one of those episodes where you could, when you do, or when you've obviously seen it, but when you do see it, you can say, well, yeah, you could pretty much spend 
all day there. So, um, yeah, so that was uh, pretty good. So I, I won't go in depth on all these stations because, you know, they're pretty much uh, self-explained what you see in the video. So um, so hopefully you guys watch it. So as I said, it's going to be an ongoing uh, series um, uh, for a while. Um, there's no end date on it just quite yet. And also too, um, you will get to see a couple of the country services which you will see next month uh, in September. Um, now, uh, number five, uh, because I've pulled this together, uh, number five is the Steamroll uh, Victoria's Snow Train event. Now, originally there was going to be two snow train events, but they cut it down to one due to the uh, lots of uh, train works uh, on the network at the moment in uh, Victoria and, and Melbourne itself. Um, the snow train I did at that location, I just mentioned to you about that uh, bridge, and um, the return trip uh, at Westall Station, and um, it was something different. Um, now, I did uh, that last year, and um, that was quite fun doing it last year. And we had two events, but I didn't chase the snow train. Now, the reason why I don't chase uh, these type of trains is because you get a very limited opportunity to get to locations. You've got to be ahead of the train, and uh, I'm not going to be breaking my neck and breaking the speed limit record just to get in front of the train. So those type of uh, steam train events uh, I will do at certain locations. And um, so hopefully you guys understand that. But yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, and um, then we move on to the Red Rattlers, the Tate set uh, at the Melbourne Showgrounds. Now this was in coincide of um, the... Um, I think it was the miniature, uh, not miniature, uh, train set uh, at the showgrounds um, for that uh, weekend. Now, I didn't do the showground uh, one, but um, the uh, Red Rattler I did because it was a rare event. And actually, it's a rare event uh, to have one of these tours on the showground line and also a five set um, tape set, which is a rare event in itself, guys. So... Um, yeah, that was a really fantastic day. Um, did a lot of filming there, uh, and of course I, I returned back to the flyover at um, North Mer North Melbourne, and uh, which was pretty good. So you can see that in the uh, video. Uh, I really enjoyed doing that. And then um, this is a drone footage um, I did uh, at uh, Danlong. This is a Danlong station and the Ventura bus line. Now, um, there's a little grassy section uh, in between uh, Dan Long and uh, where the bus depot is. So you can, you can fly the drone there. <coughs> so that's no problem, as long as you're not interfering with anyone. And um, yeah, it was really fantastic. I was able to get the uh, paper train. Now the paper train comes all the way from the country part of Victoria. Uh, it comes through uh, Dan Long Noval Park uh, almost every day and I was able to capture that and that was really good. And Ventura buses you'll see in where the buses depot is and so forth and yeah it was a really really good day I really enjoyed doing that. And then uh, a video that I haven't done for a while is the OM5 gimbal. Uh, now I did a sunset at Moravan Airport and now I spent a majority of the day, and this was the same day during the snow train event, I went to Moravan Airport. And uh, so uh, that video will be coming up pretty soon, guys, uh, in September. I haven't got a date yet in mind, but it will be in September. And um, just to see the planes coming in and land, small planes, it's a bit like the one I did uh, earlier on this year, um, Melbourne Airport, and um, that was really, really good. I really enjoyed doing that, and I didn't actually know you could actually get quite close to the control tower at uh, Moravan Airport, so yeah, there's a few shots of that, 
and I might throw in a few uh, photos, uh, photo ones there. But the OM5 gimbal one, um, yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Uh, it's a time lapse for an hour, which is, uh, it just pans very slowly uh, for an hour, which is technically a minute what you see. And uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty good. I really enjoyed that. And um, now I'm just moving down my list here because I'm cutting through the list here because I've already sort of explained about the train videos. Uh, the next one, um, now the next couple um, drone videos, um, uh, this one is at the Melgrave uh, Reserve. Now I did this one uh, last year and I did that with the Mini 1, and, but um, I'm sort of rehashing stuff for the Mini 2 because I didn't put it up on YouTube, I put it up on my social media uh, from the, uh, the Mini 1. So um, that was pretty good, um, pretty ordinary reserve. You'll see plenty of reserve um, or footy ovals and things like that with my drone footage over the next few weeks uh, because I did a lot of stuff. So I've got a lot of videos coming up actually. Uh, next one's the Roval Reserve, uh, very similar. And um, that was, uh, again, did that uh, last year or in, 2021 so didn't get the kangaroos this time because last time i got the kangaroos uh, but there was no kangaroos hanging around at the time at that particular uh reserve um lawson's reserve uh that that's another um uh vo as i said the, the majority of the videos that you will see um uh, mainly the reserve uh, drone footage um, over the course of the month I've done and um, yeah that was uh, pretty good another fantastic um, video and I really enjoyed doing that and the next video um, which is in uh, I think Lyndhurst um, yeah so that's that's pretty good so I wanted to sort of keep it reasonably short because I had 17 um, videos um, but the majority were the station ones and, and so forth. So, um, but yeah, it was a good uh, good month and um, I really sort of enjoyed uh, doing that. And, um, and uh, as I said, I've got a lot of videos coming up. Now, um, I'm gonna mention about um, uh, videos uh, coming up in September. So we'll move on to the uh, month ahead uh, of September. Um, now, I'm going to be doing a 30-day blitz on short videos starting from September 1st, which is uh, tomorrow. And um, so that's going to be a mixture of videos, uh, a mixture of minutes, uh, because as we all know, short videos can only go up to a minute. So there's a couple there, it will be going up to a minute, and there's a couple that might go for 20 seconds, so, um, so I'm going to be doing another um, short uh, blitz, not as long as this time, because last time I did 50 uh, short videos in 50 days. This time it's going to be 30. So the month of September, um, it's going to be 30. And also too, um, I'm going to be doing a blitz on uh, the long videos for a week. Um, there's going to be I think eight or nine consecutive long videos I will be doing uh, from September 4th to September 11th. And um, so, so there's a lot of videos I've done over the, over the month and I actually wanna catch up, you know, to get up to date with everything. So, um, so there's a lot of videos I've done, uh, uh, done back in July. Um, so you're just seeing now. So there's a, gonna be a blitz over a two week period just to catch up on a lot of stuff. And um, so, um, which is pretty good. Um, also too, uh, we've got a few steam rail uh, Victoria events coming up in September. Actually, September is gonna be quite busy for steam rail Victoria. They've got a number of, um, uh, of uh, training events coming up. Now, some of them I will be doing, not all of them. Uh, I will be doing the uh, Moyalic one 
Uh, I haven't got the dates in front of me at the moment, guys, but um, you can look up on their website and uh, have a look at the tour dates. Um, that's uh, steamrollervictoria.com.au, uh, I think. And um, we've got uh, uh, Moy Alec. Now, this one's uh, Glenn Huntley to Moy Alec. Now, Glenn Huntley, the reason why it's Glenn Huntley to Moy Alec is uh, they've just redone Glenn Huntley Station. So I'll be doing that as well as um, uh, we've got uh, one going out to um, near Alamein, uh, which is uh, not Alamein. Um, oh, yeah, Alamein. I don't know where I thought it was in Alamein. But, yeah, Alamein line. So that's coming up. Um, but the one that's really interesting for me uh, is the Dan Long to Cranbourne. Now, they're going to be having... Now, I've openly said uh, the steam train with the Red Rattler, the Tate set. I don't know the reason why they want to do that. I still think that having the vintage carriages with one steam train at the other end and the other one down the other end is a lot more better. So I don't know why they're doing that, but there's three of them over September, which I think all three I will be doing. But I'm going to put them in a separate playlist, um, the Steam and Electric playlist um, for Steamroll Victoria. So they won't be under Steamroll Victoria Steam Train Events or the Tate Set or Red Rattler uh, playlist. There will be a different playlist I will be doing for all three of them. Hopefully I'll get to do all three. And um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the Dan on Cranbourne one because it's one I've been waiting to do for a long time. So, and it's going to be six shuttles. So, there's, to me, when they say six shuttles, um, that could be 12 to 14 um, spots I'll be doing. So, I'm really looking forward to that. That's like uh, November, uh, November. Uh, September 23, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a week before the AFL Grand Final, which is our football, not soccer, AFL uh, Grand Final. So, um, so yeah, so a fairly busy September uh, for Seymour Victoria. And also, too, for me, uh, a busy September. Uh, we are uh, just catching up on a lot of videos that I've done over the last month. And I'm uh, hoping uh, to catch up and then um, we'll be up to date with everything. And uh, um, now, um, before I let you guys go, um, now I'm going to be doing a walkthrough with uh, a few videos, uh, something a little bit more different. And I obviously got the idea of that when I did um, episode or season two, episode three, which I'll mention about the uh, season two shortly. But um, I'm going to be doing a couple walkthroughs, which will be really, really great. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, so I think those videos will be middle of September, late September. So we'll see how we go. We haven't, I haven't set up a, a date yet. Uh, season two. Now we've only done three episodes of um, season two. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing an episode four or five. I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm sort of looking at the numbers. The numbers, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, and the numbers are not too great uh, for season two. So I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I like to finish off the season. Uh, I'm not sure there will be a season three next year. Um, I don't know yet. We'll we'll see how things pan out. But yeah, the numbers weren't really too uh, flattering, um, and um, which is. Um, well, how would I say? I'm not disappointed, but... You, well, I could say I'm disappointed, but not disappointed. Um, I know from season one, which was the Puffin' Billy tour, which was um, highly successful, and then uh, going into season two, it hasn't been too successful. But i um, hoping um, you guys um, will get to watch the go first three episodes and then... And then um, hopefully, yeah, the numbers might go up. But I'm not too sure why I'm going to be doing this quite yet with that. I've still got another four months up my sleeve until the end of the year. So we'll see how we go. And um, 
the uh, hoping, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a monthly review live uh, just yet. Uh, maybe it may be September or maybe October. I don't know yet. Uh, everything's a little bit up in the air. But um, yeah, the pre recorded ones for me are a little bit more better. So I can, um, you know, if, if I stuff up somewhere, at least I can sort of cut that bit out and then and then try and glue it back together again. So I hope um, you uh, enjoyed this uh, monthly review of August uh, 2023. And um, it's been an absolute leverage to um, give you guys the best video content I can give to you. Um, now, there's a few things that I I'll probably will change over the next uh, few months. Um, I may do a few more live uh, on locations. Uh, that seems to be popular. And um, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm hoping actually to get a bit of work. So we'll, hopefully we'll see what happens there. Um, and um, hopefully uh, in the next few weeks or maybe next three months, uh, I could be in a different location, living in a different location. So I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But um, at the moment, still here in Noble Park. And um, so... All right, guys, I'll let you go, and uh, thank you very much for watching the monthly review, and um, as I always say, if you are new to the channel, press like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you do not miss out on any future video content like this one, and uh, a comment would be always be appreciated, guys, um, to give me a few pointers on some some things that you might want to see and um and yeah it'd be really great guys so um, i hope you enjoyed it and um i'll shall catch up with you soon guys cheers